In my book, Leopard Warrior, I speak about the importance of dreams and dreaming. And when I talk about dreams, I'm talking about those nighttime activities where you are sleeping and you're not thinking, you're not daydreaming, you are fast asleep and you are in a place of what I call tabla rasa, which means a blank slate. And that's where your ego has not been engaged, your personality has not been engaged in the normal way in the waking state. So those dreams are very important because they guide us to our connection with our soul and our spirit. And that is immortal. So our dreams are a gateway to the immortality of man and they help us to navigate the world of the living. So in the Kosa and Zulu culture, we say that if someone does not remember their dreams, it's very, very serious because then they're out of balance with themselves and their community and they could create acts which um, are disharmonious to themselves and, and their, their community. And then they actually need to go and see a Sangoma like myself and start to remember their dreams so that they are connected with their humanity. So this is very important. So your dreams are, are connecting you to your own immortality, but also to the hub or matrix of humanity and the animal and plant world. And if you are not remembering your dreams, then the most important thing to do is to make a very clear intention. I want to remember my dreams. That's the most important thing because every human being has the faculty of dreaming. It's a normal human muscle that unfortunately has become atrophied as we've entered modern life. But everyone is a dreamer. You just have to bring back that importance. Bring back the importance in your life of I want to dream, I want to remember my dreams. And then once you've done that strongly, then I recommend you getting a book, a notebook that you keep by, by your side, the side of your bed. And when you wake up in the morning, write down any kind of feelings, any kind of images, any kind of sensations that might come up from the night before. And I'd also like to encourage you to look at your behavior before you go to sleep and when you wake up. A lot of clients I've had, I will speak to them about the, how they wake up in the mornings and I'll ask them if they turn on their phone and they all say yes. And I'm like, okay, don't do that. If you want to remember your dreams, try to turn your phone on after breakfast. So you've got about a 30 minute or 40 minute period of processing the nighttime's activities before you come fully present into the world. So the longer the time, the better. If it's 20 minutes, wonderful. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, the longer the better before you turn that phone on. Because as you turn that phone on, you're entering this world really quickly with emails and all those responsibilities. And you need to give yourself a bit of a gap, a bit of space to integrate the nighttime's activities, especially if you're struggling to remember your dreams. So that's very important. And also when you go to sleep, make sure that uh, if you're struggling to remember your dreams, make sure that you're reading a book or maybe you turn off your computer or you turn off your, your tablet and maybe do a little bit of breathing exercises, listen to your heart, maybe also listen to some relaxing music so that you're very present and your spirit is calm and not agitated. Because one of the things of modern technology with these phones, they're very beautiful and very creative, but they also have a very concentrated electrical output. And that high concentration of electricity and the screen creates a sense of, or an aura of agitation. And when you have it close to you, it's affecting your own aura and it brings forth a sense of agitation. And if you struggle to remember your dreams, then just try to neutralize the phone as much as possible before you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning. I'm sure this will help you. Good luck with your dreaming. <laughs> Oh, my, 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 oh, my